All right, now that everything's out, we can do a quick rundown of the components in here. You have, that is your reservoir tank for your air suspension system. If it ever fails, you can air it up manually. That will only air up the tank. It will not air up the suspension. This does not work like a regular suspension system. You come down here, you have your AC compressor. That is high voltage. You have your power electronic power steering rack. This is low voltage, high amperage. You have water pump one, water pump two, diverter valve. There is your air suspension compressor. This is your ABS pump. All right, oh, I think I just broke that clip. But you have your ABS pump here air suspension, AC compressor, battery heater, which is high voltage. Right down here, that right there with the AC lines going in, that is your battery chiller. That's what cools the battery off uh, in high temperature situations. So, and this guy right here is a vacuum pump. Only pre-autopilot cars have this vacuum pump. It serves one purpose and one purpose only. You follow this around, go up in there, and it goes, you can't see it, but it goes into your vacuum brake booster. So, if you ever lose 12 volt power, the car will not drive. It'll shut down completely, you'll have no power steering, but your brakes will still work. So, in there, you have your condenser fan. You have your headlights, which are right here. You have your adjustments on them, which are Phillips head, which I have to go around here. Right here. Uh, actually, on this one, it's not Phillips head. Oh, yes, it is. It's just filled with crap. But use a Phillips head, and you can adjust your headlights. Same thing on... This side, that's your vertical adjustment. Your horizontal adjustment cannot be done easily. You have temperature probes. Your other condenser is your HID ballast. Wire harness. This comes from inside the car. This is your manual release, which is under the glove box. Here, you have your upper control arms, which could use a cleaning on this car, big time. And, you come through, you have your cabin filter, your high pressure right there, your low pressure R134A refrigerant ports to recharge your AC system, and then right here is your 12 volt battery. It's a lot of fun to get that thing out, that's for sure. You have to take the wiper cowl off and everything like that. You can take it out through the top or you can take it out through the side. Either way, you gotta take something apart. And there is the heart of the Model S. This is an 85 kilowatt battery. So right here, there are two modules stacked on top of each other and another 14 modules underneath the car. So if you ever need to get into an older Model S and the battery, the 12 volt battery is dead, you have your jump start posts right here. These have been used twice the whole life of the car. You've got your 12 volt positive and your 12 volt negative. That is right behind the nose cone. I'm not popping this off because it's ice cold out. As you can see, one of the clips decided to stay behind. But, uh, that is a general rundown of the basic stuff. You've got your coolant reservoir right there. A couple of diverter valves here and there. And diverter valve there. You've got your radiator right here. And the way this car works is the radiator only cools the coolant coming from the drive unit. What cools the coolant for the battery is the chiller. And when the battery, it, when the coolant is cold, 
in order to warm itself up, this diverter valve right here bypasses the front radiator and sends it right back into the system. When the drive unit and inverter start getting warm, the diverter valve closes off this line and opens up this line to feed it through the radiator, which then comes back down in there, right? I don't know if you can see it. That line right there, back in, tees off, and goes back into the back. So, there's your uh, battery heater. That uses a lot of power. And uh, there's your fuse boxes. Brake fluid, washer fluid. On the newer cars, your 12 volt battery is going to be mounted here. Your coolant reservoir is going to be mounted here. And uh, there's going to be a motor right in this area. So, if you haven't noticed, I prefer the older cars. They are much simpler. There's much more room. And uh, they're a little bit easier to work on. So, that's just a rundown of what's under the hood of a Tesla Model S. It looks like a whole lot of nothing when everything's put together. When you take it apart, there's actually a lot going on under here. Got to give credit where credit's due. They stuffed a lot of crap in a place where you can't actually see it. Bravo, Mr. Musk. Bravo.